All right, so look, today I'm doing no intro. I'm doing no, yeah, I'm not doing intro. We started off different. This is a new leaf in my life, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going you know to be productive and do different things, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, it's a different editing style off the 20 seconds that you just watched. Let's get straight into it. This is low-key like a my first podcast, I guess you say. So who am I here with first? Ryan. Okay, so look, what's your Instagram? BST. Ryan. Okay, so boom. I got some questions for you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so boom, look. What's your mindset on money, such as how can money be used? Uh, come close, come closer. Like this one. I think Mr. we both in the frame. So, yeah. All right, cool. Money can be used for so many things. Uh, Cause you go into vivid detail for me about that. Right. What you, uh, what you mean? My mind, like, what's your mindset on money? Like, what do you like? How I feel like pretending to go get it, or in any situation, like some people feel like money should be used to be spent just to have fun, and like some people feel like money is to be used to be invested. Some people feel that money should be used for both. Some people choose. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's your mindset on money? You feel okay, me? so I feel like money should be used on everything. Because, like, you can spend your entire life chasing money, but when you get it, what are you going to do with it? Okay. So money can be used, rack up some money. You know, when you get comfortable, stable enough, take you a couple trips maybe, one, two here and there with, you know, the guys or the family. Okay. Maybe your wife when you get there one day. Yeah. No. But you still... Have your back support, so no matter what you spend on that trip, it's not gonna affect how much money you have. Okay. So pretty much have enough money saved up. So pretty much your mindset on money is kinda like stack it but also have fun. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So look, next question. If you had a million dollars, how would you spend it? Uh if I had a million dollars, I would invest a quarter of it into stocks, uh, real estate. Um Pertaining to my major, like um, computers and things of that such, uh, I would give a little bit. Like I give about another quarter to my mom. Okay. You know? So we got like about five hundred. Right I got about five hundred left. Okay. Uh, I probably use a, I probably use a little bit to either give me an apartment off campus or like um, in a car. Okay. Then the rest, just whatever, whatever I need to. And whatever, and if I don't, I'll just put it in the savings. Like, I hold it. The rest of my Until I need it again, yep. Okay, so look. Wait, so with a million, you staying on campus? No, I said I'm getting an apartment in the car. But you still staying in college? Yeah. See? Okay, so look, I put them down. I, you, you got that million right now, but once that million is gone, what else money you going to have? See, listen. Yo, he just dropped the gym right there. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Still sit there and chase your dreams no matter how much money you got. Yes, that's sir. good aim. That's good aim. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so look. What are five good? Pro- well, hold on, my fault, y'all. I messed up. But what are five good habits to have? Habits. Yes, mm, uh, stay consistent. Okay. Um, I would say don't dwell on the past. Uh, become emotionally unavailable. Be consistent. And thrive amongst others. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I want to think about that for a second. So are those are those. So this is just like, are those really habits? You practice that, like, or you suggest people to practice those things? Daily? I suggest people to practice those. Okay. So like, what you mean by emotionally unavailable? Just like practice being that, so you can become that. If that makes sense. Practice. Practice being able to control your emotions. Yeah, control your emotions and uphold yourself. Like every single word. Or any just a word, just everything that someone says to you doesn't deserve a reaction. Mm, okay. And by you practicing that habit, that's gonna help you build. It's gonna that, build your character. Build your character. Okay. Build your character. For sure. That. Hold on. You, so you need five, ain't it? That's why. Mm-hmm. All right, baby. So look, how do you stay consistent? Uh, consistency is well to me. I would say it's like okay. So I said. Alarm every morning at 7.30. I have to be consistent with that no matter what. So, like, on weekends, some people be like, I'm going to sleep in. But if I want to get up, if I need to get up, because mm-hmm. it will make me feel better about myself and feel like a normal day, I'm going to keep getting up at 7.30. Sure. Like, 
keep the same daily routine and just stick with it no matter what. Mm, and that'll, okay. that'll be the difference maker. I'm sure. I, I feel like I'll be saying the same thing to y'all, man. I'm saying? No, I say, but cause I feel like consistency <coughs> and discipline go hand in hand, though. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I feel like, no, I see what you're saying, though. Like, it, that's low key consistency. To be consistent, you have to stay disciplined. Mm-hmm. So that's for y'all, you know what I'm saying, watching. For example, let's say, like you said, which is at 730, mm-hmm. you might not want to get up, but you still get up. That's being disciplined. But by you being disciplined, you stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm, so then you don't even feel like discipline, it's just like a regular old day. It's, it's another day. For sure. Once you do it for so long. Once you do it for so long, okay. I can see that. All right, so boom. Next question. How do you not get distracted? Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I do get distracted. Okay. Um, but how, uh, when, when I got, um, I would say when it comes to a point where something goes wrong and you get tired of being sick and tired, mm. you would get uncomfortable with, wait, how do you not get distracted? You say you get uh, distracted. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I get distracted, but you like when you get sick and tired of getting distracted or like when like of the bad things that are happening, mm-hmm. you'll get you start to change. You'll get uncomfortable with being distracted. So you'll change to become comfortable. Okay. It's like you when you get distracted, you you tend to see that you off balance. Yeah. And you try to get back on balance. And it's, and okay. it's, it's much harder to get back on balance, but that's where the discipline and the comes consistency to comes to play. Okay. See, he just put y'all on. So let's say right now y'all watching, y'all distracted in life, y'all messing up. He just gave y'all the, you know what I'm saying, the go-to on how to, you feel me, get through that time. You stay consistent and stay disciplined. And for you to stay consistent, you got to be disciplined. You feel me? It is not going to feel like nothing after a while. It's going to seem like a no more day. But when you do that, you got to reward yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's where it small, comes. you feel me? The entertainment, the fun, yeah. that's where it comes to play. But, like, not too much entertainment, though. You feel me? You can't sit there and have too much messed up entertainment, if that makes sense. You feel me? You got you to gotta move correctly. Or something that's going to set you back. I ain't going to say messed up entertainment. There's, like, you feel me? Something that's going to set you back. Don't do stuff that's going to set you back. Do stuff that's going to help you. Like, for example, let's say you want to go out to eat at Chipotle. Go ahead and eat at Chipotle because you sat there and crushed this week. You feel me? That's how you, you know what I'm saying, reward yourself in a good way. Also, how do you not give in to your distractions on your phone? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> put me down, put me down. We all can agree. TikTok be getting me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok be getting yeah, TikTok me. TikTok be getting me. Um, uh, how do I not feed into the- Or at least try not to, for me. Um, I try to distract myself with other things. So, like, I do, well, like, for now, we have, like, homework. I'm either doing homework. Okay. Or, like, I'll be hanging out. When I, on like the downtime, like but my my hours on tech they have decreased. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was bad, bro. bro. It's bad, bro. How many hours you had on TikTok? Bro? I think I had like a hundred and like sixteen hours, bro. It's bad, bro. For what, like for for, for for just like watching, bro. From just sitting there, like when I when I'm bored, not having nothing else to do. Yeah, you just scroll, scroll, just, scroll. Yes. What's up, bro? What be on your TikTok feed, bro? bro I'm not gonna lie, my forty page goes crazy, bro. I built this forty lie. page brick by brick, bro. <laughs> I built this for you, bitch, brick by brick. Bro. <laughs> not true. So what be on there? Name like three things that be on your for you, bitch. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Um, football. Okay. Uh, just like uh, funny, bro, funny videos or like story times. Story times. Oh, so that's what, that's that's when the hours come in play. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when you sitting there watching a full story Yeah, time. nah, fam. Story time as well. Increased like 60 hours. So I'm, oh, that's a good aim. That's a good aim. Improving. improving. You know what I'm saying? Improving. improving. That's what life is about. You know what I'm saying? Improving. Matter of fact, you know, talk to them about give them some advice on improving in life. Or to improve in life. You feel me? What should they do? I'm like, how to improve? Yeah, if they want to go from zero, to, like, they're doing nothing. They sitting down on their bed. They're not doing nothing for real. How can they get from sitting down on their bed to being productive and start making, having motion? You know what I'm saying? Or getting motion? It depends on where you are. Okay. Elaborate. Um, if you are, 
it depends because uh, once you we live in a system now where once you're 18, you're you're basically a grown man, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're 18, you're not working, you're about to graduate high school, where the motion comes to play, where something that could change your life for the betterment, college is a place. A lot of people don't believe it. No. A lot of people don't want to go to college. I'm like, but if college is your only other way out, I would advise you to go to college. So, so that, that's, that's your... Because like, it, for me, it was either work at a grocery store or go to college, and one day I'm going to be a millionaire. I think I'll take college. So that... So that's the advice. You go to college. Well, it's, it's not even just go to college because you could go to um, you go to trade school, construction work. It's tons of things that you could do, but try to find a better route than just working at a fast food restaurant. Okay. That's good. Eh? He just got some, got some jewels. That's it. All right. So boom. What does working on your goals look like to you? Uh, working on my goals. Bro, like, okay, so for me, I'm trying to maintain, a, 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 like, a, so what I, what I finished high school at, a 3, 8, 3, 7. I'm trying to maintain at least, like, a 3, 4, 3, 5 in college. Because, of course, things happen. Mm-hmm. We have our fun. Sometimes it's down days. You don't really want to do the work. You don't want to go to class. So I'm just trying to maintain. But the goal is set is, like, make sure I stay on top of all my assignments. Go to office hours. Speak to my teachers. My teachers love me. Like you know, um, the teacher that was just giving all this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't that the lady who was rolling the oh, thing? Yeah, my, 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 bro, we yeah, have. I wonder if y'all can see, bro. She was, she was happy though. She seemed like she was happy. My math class. teacher. We are, bro. She's one of the best math teachers I ever had. Bro. That's good aim. That's good aim. So like you actually be understanding what like what yes. she be saying? Yes. What? I, I wish I had that. I ain't go- That's the only one I trust. I wish I had that. You know what I'm saying? My teacher. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna talk about yeah, my yeah, teacher. Shout out to my know. teacher. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. I'm, I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. But now nah, the real no, 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 that's good. I don't really have a relationship with my teachers, except maybe one. I say one. But I, I mess with all my teachers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my teachers. You feel me? Yeah. But, um, what's it called? Dang, did I ask that? What does your goals look like? Mm, you just asked I did. All right, my fault, y'all. All right, so look, what's three goals you have? Uh, goal number one. Graduate, graduate from college. Go number two. Um, want to move to a different city. I'm starting a new life. All right, what city though? I'm not totally sure. It's, uh, okay. I have, uh, dreams and aspirations of uh, places like uh, Florida. You know, Cali. Um, okay. Palm North trees. Carolina, maybe. All right, now you're moving away from the palm trees. I know. What, North Carolina? Yeah. What, what, why North Carolina, bro? I just like the, I like the, mm, I would say the, vibe. Like the aspect of it, yeah, the vibe of it. Sort of. Uh, wait, that was two. One more, one more, one more would be, and if I gave three, my apologies, but this is definitely going to be one of them. I got I to gotta buy my mama house. That's three, that's three. That's, that's good. That's third one? Yeah, that's third one. Yeah, buy your mama house. That's good aim, that's good aim. All right, boom. How do you deal with setbacks? Um, I address the matter. Okay. I address why we're wrong at, then I will find a solution. Okay. There's 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 two sides to the story. It's either um, it's either you're the solution or you're part of the problem. Okay. I mean, that's a good aim, man. I'll go ahead. What's saying? I just look, last question is, what's your motivation for the viewers out there? Um, motivation for viewers, stay on top of everything. Um, be consistent. The only person that is stopping you from being great is you. Hold yourself to a higher critique. Don't let nobody stop you from being where you want to be. It's like a poem. That's good, eh? That's good, eh? I ain't gonna lie. But look, y'all, I, I feel like this is very productive. I feel like I should do more of these, more podcasts coming soon. This, Listen, this is how we started. That doesn't mean that's how we're gonna finish. But, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But 
I appreciate y'all if y'all watched all the way through. You know what I'm saying? If y'all didn't, y'all skipped a little bit, it's fine. As long as you watched it, I appreciate you. But you made this far in the video. Don't feel like I'm subscribed. We out.